Hey there, this is Chetan and welcome to CR Interior Designers. In this Blender tutorial, we are going to create this kind of princess ring design or you can say crown design or anything. You can find this kind of designs in jewelry and the architecture work. So without further ado, let's get started. To create this design, you need to add a cube. Then you need to rotate this cube as like this. After that, you need to go to the edit mode, turn on your extra mode and select these words. Then move these words along the y axis like this and then scale these words. Then select these words and extrude them along the y axis. Then move them along the y axis. Then press M and merge at the center. Then press Ctrl A and then apply the scale. Then you can select this edge loop and then press Ctrl B and add a bevel on it. Add two segment bevel to get that curve form. Then add few more loop cuts on the model and try to get a decent looking form at there. Then select these words and extrude them along the y axis and just increase the length a little bit. Then you can select this edge loop and you can use the set flow on them to get the good edge flow. After that you need to select these words and then right click connect vertex path. Then hit the control 2 to add the sub D modifier and then shade smooth it and move it like this. Then change the transform pivot point to the 3D cursor. Now I have given the name to this object like a design. You need to shift D to duplicate it and make a backup. Then you need to select this object and then press M to make a new collection and move this object to that new collection. Give the name to that collection like a design. Then press Shift A then collection instance and select that design collection. Then you will get the instance of that design collection. You can see we have got one empty which is connected to that instance. This instance will follow the main collection or that main object. And now we need to rotate this instance in 12 degree angle. So rotate it like this, then one more time you need to shift D to duplicate it, this instant object and then rotate it into 12 degree angle. Now you need to complete the complete circular shape. So just duplicate it and then rotate it and complete that circular shape like this. You can see here, then select the main object and if you go to edit mode and you select any word or age and you try to make some changes in it, then all instance will follow that object. In this way we can make changes one at a time to all object. You can use this for our advantage and we can create difficult designs, difficult forms. After that you need to select the main object and then select this edge loop and then move this along the z axis and just try to create a curve form at there. You need to select these edge loops and then move them along the z axis. Then you can select this edge loop and you can use the set flow on them to get decent curve form then select everything and move it along the y axis and you can see I have increased the size of that form after that you need to change the transform pivot point to the individual origin and then you need to rotate this in this way you can give the 65 degree angle at there and that will be fine now you need to use the rotate tool at here and change the transform orientation to the normal and rotate it along the x axis like this just to give the tilt angle at there. Then you can use the move tool and move it along the z axis, normal z axis. And you can see I'm getting the different results at here. Then just split the viewport. After that, you need to select these faces at here and then move them along the x, y, z axis to get that twisted form. You need to play with the form at here and you need to adjust the position of the faces and edge loops to get that decent looking twisted form. So it will take a little bit of time but you can easily do this and this form brings that interest in the design. And now you can see after playing with the form it looks really well. Then you need to add center loop cuts like this. After that Select this loop cuts and then press Alt S or you can use the search menu and use the string operation at there and give the small factor of the string operation. Here I have given the little bit more factor so I need to repeat this process. Just see the model from all the sides. Here I need to deselect some edges and then I need to use the string operation so I will get the desired results. So just select these edges and use the small string operation. And now you can see it looks really well. I have got that outer flower looking form. Then you need to add one circle, Bezier circle. And then add one more Bezier circle like this. And then select that first Bezier circle 
then go to the path properties and then go to the geometry and object and select here that object and now you just need to adjust the scale of the Bezier circle like this here I want to create a simple ring which is going to hold that flower design you can find this kind of designs in a jewelry or maybe sculpture or something like that and you can see it looks really well simple and decent you can decrease the resolution of the circle means that ring by decreasing the resolution of your Bezier circle like this okay then you need to convert it to the mesh and then press ctrl 2 to add the sub modifier. Then give the name to this main object of that flower design. I have given the name petal. Then go to the edit mode, select these edges and ctrl E to mark C. I just want to UV unwrap this so I can give the texture to it. After UV unwrapping, I am going to convert these instances into the real mesh. So that's why you need to select these instances and then press Ctrl A and make instance real. It will convert these instances into the real objects. Here you can see real objects and empties. So just select these empties and then delete them. And here you can see the meshes. It's here I have got just extra objects of that ring so I have just deleted them. Then you can select all these objects and then Ctrl P and then make a parent. That's like this and here you can see your ring design is ready in this way you can create a jewelry design or sculpture design any kind of this kind of tricky forms you can create with the help of instances and it's a very good way to model anything so that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then please hit that like button and subscribe to youtube channel bye bye so next video take care